What it is, dip. It's your boy Crook LDBT100. We in here. Show. It's like, dog, what's going on with y'all boys, man? I know y'all ain't heard my voice in a minute, but we gonna get right back to it. Feel what I'm saying? Real quick, there's some videos that's going up on the gaming channel. We've been streaming God of War. God of War is a fire game. If you guys would like to see that gameplay, go ahead and go over to the gaming channel. Link will be in the description. But basketball season is underway. Gam uh, gambling has been legal in Maryland for sports betting. So you know the videos is coming. Videos definitely going to be coming, man. So stay tuned for that. But right now, uh, this is a little bit old, but I didn't comment on this. But I want to comment on this. I'm not going to lie. So as you guys know, the Rams have not been playing very good football. They are currently 3-7. They just lost. I forgot what they lost. They, they lost to the Saints. They just lost to the Saints the other day. And uh, they just, I don't know, man. Like, they just not very good. So apparently last week, Jalen Ramsey went off on, like, their offense or defense. He went off on somebody. Y'all know how Jalen Ramsey is, bro. He speak what's on his mind, and he don't care. He don't care about it. He, he going to speak whatever. He going to speak his mind. And he's always harsh. So we go, I'm, I'm going to kind of see what he got to say. So without further ado, I know I'm probably taking too long. Let's get right into it, man. Um, I, I don't give a fuck what they say about Rod. Rod, five. I'm telling you, Rod, oh, five. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, like, wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Really yeah, Rod, five. Is it because people are, you know, criticizing the I don't give a fuck what they say about Rod. Rod, five. I'm telling you, Rod, five. Like, oh, y'all, people, man, people don't have no clue. The fact that he's not a head coach somewhere, for real, is like a blessing for us, especially in that defensive room. Like, Ra is the real fucking deal. I ain't even lying to you. Like, I'm, I'm passionate about that shit. Man, this man just taught me something this morning. Like, just sitting in his office for like 45 minutes, he's just teaching me something new that I, ain't nobody ever taught me before, like ever. Like, just opening my eyes up, and we in, you know, the middle of. My seventh season, and I just learned something new this morning. Like, rise that good. Like, people don't really understand football like they think they do. Like, when they get on Twitter and talk and, and get on social, like, y'all don't really understand like y'all think y'all do. Like, y'all don't understand the coverages that we play. Y'all don't understand that we might be in a certain coverage on one side, but the other side is a completely different coverage. Like, we do a lot of mixture of things. Y'all don't understand how certain players are playing multiple positions and Got to know a lot of different te techniques and alignments and assignments. Y'all don't understand how the offense, whether they the receivers come out in, in a condensed look or whether they outside wide, how we got to play our techniques differently. Or and then, yeah, like, let's talk about it. We didn't finish the game how we want. Hold on, real quick. Real quick. I agree with what he's saying because at the end of the day, like, when we talk about sports, or even when I talk about sports, at the end of the day, we're speaking from a fan's perspective. We never played the game. Well, well, if I'm speaking for myself, I never played the game at high school, pee wee, like, like any different type of circuits, let alone the professional level. So when I speak and when I say different things, I'm speaking from a fan's perspective because I don't know. But at the same time, because I don't know. I don't say certain words, so I don't say, oh, well, they're trash. I don't say, oh, well, da-da-da-da-da. Sometimes you can say it because it's vividly what you're seeing, but at the end of the day, there's only but so much I can talk about the game because I never played it. I'm trying to tell you, one of my goals, y'all, like, like, one of my goals is to be an intern for, like, I don't know, for, like, for like the NFL or NBA, maybe, like, an intern or something, or, like, something I can do in my community. I'm going to definitely look that up because... That's just, like, I, I I don't know, like, same thing with he's saying. Like, everyone can say, oh, well, Jalen Ramsey trash, but he don't know that there's certain coverages that he has to be in. If it's a zone coverage, you're going to get somebody like Tyreek Hill. He's burning you on the street. You feel me? There's nothing he can do there. Or even a few weeks ago when he went up against Stephon Diggs, and he, he bit too much, and then Steph, uh, Stephon Diggs burned him. Like, a lot of people don't know coverages. If you watch a football game, right, can you vividly see the type of coverage that they're in? Can you see that? If you're not able to pinpoint the type of defense that is, and you're just going off of the action, then then you're not really privy to it, and there's only but so much you can say. Like, I offer my opinion because I'm speaking from a fan's perspective, but there's a lot of things that I don't know. 
I don't know a lot of things. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't know, but people like to go on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and all these other social media platforms and then they start, you know, just sometimes they be talking crazy. Sometimes people do be talking crazy. Because a lot of times people like to talk trash, but at the end of the day, bro, like, just speaking for me, bro, like, I don't know too much, so I can't speak on it too much, but I'm going to always give my fans perspective, bro. At the end of the day, the fans perspective does matter sometimes. Even though we haven't played the game, the fans perspective still matters. At the end of the day, we're the ones that's spending the money. We're the ones that's coming to these games, showing love, you feel what I'm saying? And, and to be honest, to be fair, we give a lot of players boosts. A lot of players perform better at home than on the road. It's, 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 it's the boost. 12 man on the field. You feel me? Wanted to, but we played a hell of a game on defense. Like, we gave up fucking field goals. Like, and, and people talking about Rod ain't call a good game. Like, what the fuck are y'all looking at? Like, what are we talking about? This is the NFL, and we gave up field goals. Still gave up under 17 points. Like, what are we talking about? Y'all are tripping. If y'all want to, blame me. I don't give a damn. Blame me. Like, but it ain't right. I'm, I can tell you that. It ain't right. It ain't his play calling. It ain't um, the confidence that he's putting all of us. Like, all of that. Like, raw fire, y'all. Ain't, y'all ain't even, y'all don't even understand. But I, I, I'm cool with Rob being, being my, you know, defensive coordinator for the rest of my career. So, if they want to, if that's how they want to play it, then that's cool. But raw like that, though. So, that, that, like, pisses me off. That pisses me off more than, like, if people say something about me. Like, Saying something about like somebody who is like really like that and really good, especially when they don't even understand like what's really going on, that's annoying. But anyway. Because his door is open the way that it is, like even offensive players were kind of sometimes maybe seek bounce ideas off him or seek counsel. Like yeah. in, in that regard, Rod is the best. I'm telling you, like <laughs> for real, for real, like. Rod is really another head I coach. I want somebody to ride for me the way he ride for, for Ryan man. Morris, bro. Man, no offense, defense, special teams. For like real. Just like you said, like offensive players can go to Rod and be like, Rod, what you think about this and that and how do we need to attack this? He can tell them like flawlessly and not only tell them like in his language, but he can tell us like in our language to where in essence he dumb it down for us to make, but yeah, make sure like we understand exactly coach. what he's saying. But like, yeah, a lot of these teams always recycle like, the same it's, damn it's, coaches, but like it's knowing but, situations, but it's knowing people like all that, different type of especially techniques, a black offense, man defense, that, that can't like, get multiple opportunities. Knowing what it takes to win, like and then at the end of the day, like, yeah, he's critical of us at times. That's you have to be that, but then like giving us that confidence, like telling us play with no fear, like He's the type of guy, he'll probably come up here and he'll say all the mistakes is on me to y'all. Like, he'll probably tell y'all, like, this, yeah, this happened, but, you know, that was on me, that was on me. Like, that's how he speaks to us. Like, he don't be blaming none of us. He talks real to us, but then he'll be like, but I can help you get better in that aspect, in that aspect, in that aspect. In that aspect. And, like, that's that's just who he is. Like, he's always pouring all his knowledge in us, um, helping us get better, teaching us so much new stuff. And not just, like, not just me, not like a special player. Like, he do it for everybody. Like if you if you come and seeking, you know, trying to grow in that knowledge, or I got you. Like he's really that. Like he he, he dope, dope dude. That's dope, bro. That's dope, bro. Again, meanwhile, he's probably well. I don't know. Well, we'll see for the foreseeable future. But the way this league is going, bro, he probably not going to get an opportunity, bro. He he probably not. I'm rooting for him. I hope he do. But the way this league is going and the way they trying to incentivize teams and the hiring black coaches, bro, like, I ain't going to lie. This shit is sad, bro. The fact that you have to incentivize people with money and different and different compensations just to give someone an opportunity to coach in the league, that is crazy and that's sad, bro. But that's just the times we living in. You feel me? It's 32 billionaires who... Who done things for us? Who've done us done things a certain way for a certain level of of, of time, and they don't want to break that for nobody. You know what I mean? So, man, it's tough. But I ain't gonna lie. I need somebody to ride for me like Jalen Ramsey just did for Raheem Moore. Shout out to both of them, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, he riding for him. You feel me? But I'll be the same way. Like somebody helped me along the way, and they real genuine about what they doing. I'm gonna ride for them the same way, bro. You feel me? But that is the end of today's video. I love you guys. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.